You've got to acknowledge and honor the hurt, the pain, the emotion first. That's primary. That's paramount. That's everything. When we carry uh, resentment or we carry hurt and we carry the, the past, that moment in time doesn't recede. It comes with us everywhere we go. And we don't think greater than we feel. Okay, so when you feel sadness, you'll think sad thoughts. And if you feel anger in your body, you will mirror that with an angry thought. So what we look at turns from a heavy burden of pain into consciousness. It turns into enlightenment. It turns into wisdom. And um, I call this sifting for the gift. You sift for the gift in your past. And once you get the teaching and you get that diamond, you can actually be grateful. You can actually be grateful. Only once you get the value, only once you've got the teaching. I am deeply, deeply grateful for a decade of self-hate and all the depression and all the pain and the surgery after surgery after surgery after having my face cut off and turned inside out all the pain learning how to talk again learning how to sing again years and years and years of recovery and i wouldn't change any of it because it's made me who i am today i got the wisdom i got the teaching and once you've got that, you would never give it back. But the secret here is I had to look at it. I had to go there. I had to feel it completely in my body because the feeling creates the healing. And when we push away our hurt or we suppress pain um, and we won't go there, if we form an identity out of it, okay, then we become bound to it. Ultimately, it strips us of our power to um, evolve, to keep moving forward, to grow and expand and find that, that gold, that diamond that is within all of our past roads. Okay, so step one is you got to go there. It's an act of self-love. It's the ultimate act of compassion for yourself, for your beautiful, perfect, divine self to step into your heart. And I recommend taking time away from your busy life. You know, I recommend solitude during this. You might want to um, spend a weekend alone or even a week alone, do some journaling and get to the heart of the matter. Okay, only the heart knows and only you know what you've been through only you know that weight that you've carried but ultimately it's only you that can heal it if it is to be it's up to you and me there's no one else coming to do it for us okay so the feeling creates the healing 